Hey everyone, so this there's this really cool feature called auto scroll and it's for the Orbit Reader 20. Um, it also might be there's a 40 cell display as well and it might be something with other braille displays called auto scroll or something similar, but it's what it sounds. It auto automatically scrolls for you so as you're reading and your fingers are going across all of the dots, it scrolls to the next line for you. So if you're doing something online, like reading some info, or you're reading a book, has no window. or anything like that, on a button to click it this. will scroll for you automatically. So you don't have to keep pressing the panning buttons because there's a couple of panning buttons on the device itself here. Um, and uh, I can show them real quick. These are the panning forward and back buttons. And it's just like a little rocker key on either side and if you push it up then it it scrolls forward and then if you push it down it scrolls back but that's how that works um so when you turn on the auto scroll obviously it uh, scrolls it for you um and you can set it up for um an ipad um or an iphone or a mac but you have to go into the settings in the Apple product itself um, and it's called Auto Advance is their version of it and you have to go enable it and then uh, switch around some commands in there for you to be able to turn it on and off whenever you want to use it because there is auto scroll right in the device, the Orbit Reader but that's just to scroll through any documents you might have saved in the reader itself on an SD card so if you want to use it paired with your Apple device, um, you would have to go in the set in the Braille settings, and I'm going to explain that from the iPad and iPhone point of view um, today. Um, and I'm going to be making noise with the Orbit Reader as I read <laughs> through my notes to do that. Um, but basically, uh, you. Um, First you go to um, first you have to go down to accessibility in settings. Sorry, in settings go to accessibility and then you go to voiceover. Um, then you go down to commands and then you go down to Braille devices. Um, and then tap on your device. So once you're in Braille devices, whatever your device is, so mine's the Orbit Reader 20, it'll show up. Um, and you double tap there. Then, uh, double tap on Braille. Um, and then it'll show you have increase auto advance speed and decrease auto advance speed and enable auto advances right in the middle of them two and then when you tap on any of them so whether it's increase decrease the speed or auto advance it's itself it'll tell you to assign new braille keys which you press them on your braille display so any keys that you want to use to set up those commands you press them on your uh, your braille display uh, keys and if there are already commands set you can replace them with any dots of your choosing and it'll i know it did that for me it said there are already uh set uh set braille dots for this and I was so I replaced them with different dots and so I have one uh, like the letter A increases my speed of the auto scrolling or auto advance as uh, voiceover calls it uh, and then a B is what decreases it for me slows it down and then um, a full cell which is all six dots because uh, it's in six dot braille for me that um, turns auto advance on and off or auto scroll so uh, I hope that that explained it enough um, I know I didn't say double tap for everything and I'm sorry but 
Um, obviously, you double tap to get to accessibility and voiceover and braille and everything on each thing. Um, but I've been using auto scroll or auto advance for a few days now and I really enjoy it especially when you're just easing into a book and you're really enjoying it I find uh, it's just nice not to have to tap on the panning buttons every you know time you get to the next line or whatever it's nice so I figured now I could show you real quick how how it works um, I will go We'll go to a book. And I'm going to um, I'm going to press the command for auto scroll or auto advance now and then show you that, that the dots move by themselves without me having to push the button. Okay. Here it goes. Hopefully that's seeable. I never know how my videos come out, so <laughs> until I get someone cited to look at it for me. But you can see how they move. It's pretty cool. And I can read a little bit. Let's see. Uh, Prudence had nestled in Sarah's arms and given her the love uh, Laura herself had always felt even after she'd uh, lost the words to tell her mother so she had wanted to get past the wall of words Sarah had put up between the two of them, had uh, desperately wanted to say something real. But everything she tried to say to her mother ended up coming out wrong. Why was it that with a cat, issues of love and trust could be so straightforward? So, um, it's a book that I have, and that's what I was reading from. But, uh, yeah, I enjoy this feature so much, and it's nice. I'll just, like, turn some music on and get my little Books, Braille display new, out. And my, um, my iPad here or whatever device I happen to, uh, to use. And that's my, um, so it's just pretty cool, honestly. I'm very happy with it. And I just wanted to share that for everyone to see it. And, uh, yeah, so. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope it was somewhat helpful. If you have any questions, you can always comment your questions in the comments. And yeah, so thanks so much. Show capture device. Stop recording.